This is Bustin' Loose in Faith with none other than Apostle Dudley Tebow and Prophetess Lisa Tebow. Welcome, welcome, welcome to a broadcast that brings you word and encouragement for your soul. We want you to remember that you don't have no worries. All you need is faith in God. Bustin' Loose in Faith airs Tuesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Central Time. Now, without further ado, let's get into this broadcast. And may God bless you. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, God is good and worthy to be praised, all praise, all glory, all honor belongs to him this night and forevermore. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we're for the throne of grace, we come in open ourselves under thy mighty hand here tonight in the name of Jesus, Lord, as we get out of the way that you may have your way in Jesus' precious and holy name we pray. Oh, precious Father, right now in the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we bind up all technical difficulties and things that trying to hinder the word of God. From going forth, and Father, we'll give you the praise, the glory, and the honor in the name of Jesus. Prepare the people's heart to receive thy word in spirit and in truth. We bind, we bind up anything that would try to hinder the word of God from going forth. We'll take authority over the prince of the air in the name of Jesus. And Lord, and I thank you for answering prayers on a request. But most of all, salvation to go forth that the kingdom of God may grow from this night forward in Jesus' precious and holy name. Amen, amen, and amen. If you have your Bible, amen, I'd like you to open up to the book of First Peter 2, verse 9 and 10. First Peter 2, verse 9 and 10. And the word of God says, But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now the people of God, which have not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Also here in Jeremiah 32, verse 38 and 39, it says, And they shall be my people. And I will be their God. And I will, and I shall give them one heart and one way that they may fear me forever for the good of them and of their children after them. Just for the next few minutes, I want to talk about recognizing who you are in Christ. Recognizing who you are in Christ. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, beloved, this promise that God has given to his people all the way back in the Old Testament before Jesus arrived, it is a promise that still stands here in First Peter chapter 2, verse 9 and 10. Because of this, the passage way that Jesus made for all people is still available for them to access their Heavenly Father even now in 2024. Yes, recognizing who you are in the Lord. Child of God, no matter what other people think about you, God is the one who chose you. Believe in Christ, God chose you in order for him to use you for his glory. Oh, what a blessing to know that even though people have rejected you, even though people have pushed you aside, God still chose you. Yes, Bible says that we are Saved by grace and not by works. 
as any man should boast. We are saved for God's glory. Psalm 67, verse 1 and 2 says, God be merciful on us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us that thy ways may be known upon the earth. Thy saving health among all nations. Child of God, the way you live your life in 2024 is one of the loudest testimonies that you will ever share with others. Believe you me, somebody's watching your life. Because the truth is that people are always watching. They're watching your deeds and your works, the works that you do. Preachers on your behalf, even when you are not saying a thing. See, the Bible let us know in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is not that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel. But on a lamp stand, and it gives light to all who are in the house. Are you a, a reflection? of Jesus to those around you? Do you recognize who you are in Christ? Yes, people of God, the world is watching us as we walk on the path of faith. They are observing our response and our reaction to our suffering and adversity, troubles that we go through. They are watching also to our joy, our peace, our patience, and our kindness. Yes, believer in Christ, always remember that you are chosen and you have been redeemed. Yes, First Peter Two verse nine and ten. Let us know, according to God's word, that ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of Him who have called you out of darkness into His marvelous. A light, a light that cannot be put out, a light that we must share in order that others can see Jesus in our lives. Yes, my brother and sisters in Christ, the Bible says that we are we are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Yes, people of God, the world is watching us very closely. The Bible says here in the book of John, chapter 15, verse 16, you did not choose me, but I have chosen you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit and that your fruit should remain. That whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it unto you. Yes, God, the God of the universe, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, 
is the one who has handpicked you for his glory. He has chosen you. You are, you are accepted. You are a chosen race. You are valuable. You are capable. You are a royal priesthood. You have been forgiven. We are God's children. Yes, here in the book of Ephesians chapter 1, verse 4, it says, just as he's chosen, just as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy. And when I blame before him in love. Yes, beloved God does not choose the best or show favor. He chooses all that will call upon him. There is nothing that we can do to earn his choosing. Beloved, as a follower of Christ, you have been chosen to be a reminder of God's love. It is also an invitation for you to participate and to provide for you to participate in God's kingdom and his agenda. And it provides you with a greater sense of purpose You see, the word of God says here in the book of Jeremiah 1, verse 5, Beloved, I formed you in the womb. I knew you before you were born. I sanctified you and ordained you as a prophet to the nation. Yes, beloved, you are chosen. You are accepted. You are forgiven. You are chosen and handpicked by God. Yes, child of God, when your identity is in the hands of a of a loving father, It will not be shaken. You see, God loves you. Bible says in John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Psalms 37, verse 23 says, the steps of a good man are established, are ordered by the Lord. And he delights in his way, even now, in 2024. So, child of God, there is no, there is no mistake that you have made that will make God say you are not, you are no longer qualified for the divine call because God, God's grace, his amazing grace, it covers all sin. Yes, you may fall short. You may sin while you're in this flesh, but God don't give up on you. He, as a matter of fact, he made a way for you and I as born-again believers in Christ. If we happen to fall short, according to the scripture in 1 John 1, 9, it says that we confess our sins. He's faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Yes, you must recognize who you are in the Lord. You must remember 
even in your lowest point in life. You are chosen, handpicked by God. Yes, child of God, you may be overlooked again by people, rejected by them, but the God of the universe, the God that knows you by name, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he's the one who handpicked you for his kingdom and his agenda. Oh, what a blessing. Even now in 2024, God is still in the soul-saving business. God is still the one that sits high. But look low. God is still the one that has all power in his hands. So we are thankful for God the Father, Jesus the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All three agree as one. So, beloved, you are chosen for a purpose by the God of the, of, of the universe. You are chosen and set apart through Jesus Christ, our Savior. This all happened for a specific purpose, which is to allow you to proclaim the goodness of God to those who still find themselves in a place of darkness, being born in sin need help on a spiritual basis. Yes, beloved, the world may reject us as followers of Christ, but God is the one that looks beyond what the world thinks and reason. He looks to our heart, and he can mold us to do his kingdom agenda. He said his ways are not our ways. As high as the heaven is from the earth. So that's as high, that is how high God's ways is. When man says, well, you will amount to nothing, God says, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. God says, that you are the head and not the tail. You're on top and not beneath. You are the eyes. Hallelujah, you are the one that you have handpicked for, for a divine assignment to do while, we, while you're here on planet Earth. So, beloved, God is the one that has chosen you and appointed you for such a time as this. So, live according to the Spirit and walk according to His leading, leading, knowing that God has your best interest in mind knowing that God's purpose for your life will set you will set you free, will help you to overcome in these times that we are living in. Yes, my brother and sisters in Christ, ask the Lord, teach you how to to teach you how to number your days while we're here on planet Earth. Ask the Lord, hallelujah, to ordain your footsteps 
and to partner with you as you pursue all that he has designed for you to, to accomplish. You see, those who have learned to number their days will spend them in pursuit of God's wisdom, his goodness, and the house and the kingdom of God, of God's agenda. Bible says in the book of Matthew six thirty three. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes, believer in Christ, when you have learned to number your days, you will see each day as a valuable gift and as an opportunity to store up more treasures in heaven. Yes, child of God, remember this in 2024. That life as we know it is filled with opportunities all around us. So we must be careful how we live for us not to live as fools but like those who are wise, those that draw an out of God as he draw an out of us. The Bible says, put on the whole arm of God that you may withstand in the wild of the devil. We know the devil goes to the Roman line, seeking who he may devour. I'm reminded of John 10.10. And thief come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Oh, what a blessing. When you find out for yourself who you are and who you are in Christ, recognizing the value of recognizing that you are valuable to God's kingdom and his agenda. Walk in humility and in meekness, reaching out to others that are less fortunate than you are. Reaching out to those in faith. Go to the byways and the highways in life and compel people to come to the saving knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we always have to be mindful that the time we have on this earth is limited. So we must ask God well, there's still time. Hallelujah. To set us apart for his use. Yes, where, where it says in the book of James, chapter 4, verse 14, whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow, but what is your life? It is even as a vapor that appears for a little time in advantage away. So, beloved, we must be reminded of how short our lifespan is here on planet Earth. Remember, when you recognize who you are, and who you are in Christ, realizing that you only have one life to live. So make it count. Cause an impact upon family, 
friend, associate, and even the whole the body of Christ. You can either waste your life or you can invest it in the things of God. You can't do both at the same time in 2024. Jesus, the Son of the living God, let us know that we have a decision to make. We have a choice. We have an assignment to complete. A divine assignment that have been tell me for each and every believer in Christ. So my brothers and sisters in Christ, tonight we have to make a quality decision to let people know that we confess that the world is behind us and the cross is before us. So in 2020, folks, invest your life in the things of God. Your child of God, the God of the universe, wants you to do things in this life that has an eternal impact. Child of God, in these times that we are living in, you must you must have a stand, faith, a faith that don't waver. An unsavory faith, because having a quick faith, a freedom faith, or a passing faith, it will not do in 2024. We have to be reminded of what the Word says in Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Hebrew 11 and 6 says, But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he which cometh, who cometh to God, must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Believer, of Christ, no matter the time of Jesus' return, you must invest your life in things that you choose. The choice is yours. Yes, beloved, God wants you to do things in this life. In 2024, that will leave an eternal impact. You see, sure, risk in your life is very risky, but it is a requirement on your behalf. You see, you are called to, to obediently invest. So people of God, the Christian life, is it called? Is it called to risk? It is a call that we must make individually as well as collectively. Again, tonight we are talking about recognizing who you are in the Lord. <laughs> I hear you talking about what Jesus did for you. Spread your gospel, but is it the truth? Judging people high and low out of self-righteousness. Jesus said don't judge no one when your stuff is a mess. Live for real. It doesn't change in your life. You need to live for real. Change in your life, you need to live for real, live it for real. You're always on the phone with 
hurted other itchy ears. Telling folks business while yours is in the clear. My God, he sits high and he looks low. You'll see more blessings when you hang up the phone. Live for real. Live for real. If there's a change in your life, you need to live for real. Feedback. Uh, 
We appreciate you being a supporter of ours. We'd just like to thank you for participating and listening. And like we said, we hope you glean some information that you can apply to your life and share with others. If so, please share the number, 346, I'm sorry, 347-826-9424. Again, the number is 347-826-9424. And the broadcast is on every Tuesday and every Friday evening at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time, as the Lord allows. Again, um, should you have questions, comments, topics you'd like to hear discussed, please feel free to write to us at 8544 West Belfort, B as in boy, E-L-L-F-O-R-T Avenue. And that's Houston, Texas, 77071, and a box number of 715. 8544 West Belfort Avenue, number 715. Houston, Texas, 77071. We love to hear from you. Again, you need to understand that you are who God says you are, recognizing. You have to recognize who you are in the Lord and not see yourself as the label people have given us from children up until adulthood. We love you. God bless you. And as the Lord allows, we'll be back with you again on Friday evening at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. God bless.